सो हाई डियर वर्गो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज जनरल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द वर्गो सन मून मीनस राइजिंग Keep in mind, this is general. It might, might or uh, might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from eight till the fourteenth of August for those who are in no contact with each other from maximum one year and minimum two to three three days also is valid. And this reading is valid for every twelve sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So even if you are dealing with another Virgo, it's valid. So let's start. The person that you are in no contact with, the current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see, Virgo. We have the Fool card, the Devil, and the Star card. Okay, bottom of the deck is a Five of Pentacles. Someone is obsessively, you know, obsessively. I can't obsess this, uh, obsess this more. <laughs> That someone is obsessively thinking about having a a brand new chapter with you. They feel like uh, healing things with you. This person who is a Devil actually. This person is very toxic actually. They feel like changing themselves for you, or at least showing to you that they are the right person for you. They are not that much bad. as uh, things were in the past or they are not as much bad uh, that you are thinking them in some cases if there was a third party situation this person feels like feels like uh, you know giving you the clarification or giving you some kind of false hopes or giving you this positivity that they are going to leave the third party someday uh, and uh, everything is going to be positive they are going to change for you and they are going to change everything everything is going to be very uh, beautiful they are lying i'm not saying See, ninety percent of the time, once a devil, always a devil. Especially if they are taking you for granted, if you are giving them chances over chances over chances, and they are doing nothing, they are not changing, they are not doing whatever they have promised, they are not going to change. Then, Virgo, even if you are going to wait for this person for ten years, even if you are going, especially if you are going to give, like give them chances over chances, I don't see this person changing ever. But they feel inside of them, they are obsessively thinking. about manipulating you into this connection all over again and trying to show you that they are they have changed and they can change if there's a third party situation they can resolve it and <laughs> this person is feeling extremely sad and depressed because they they are feeling like a victim here in the situation even if you are the victim even if uh, this person is to blame here they feel like uh, you are the one who is you know giving them a hard time you are hard to get kind of energy they are not able to see their own flaws here i don't see this i don't see this person changing but they feel like manipulating you that they have changed and they feel like having something brand new with you painting the like uh, walls in a uh, in red color like in rosy rosy kind of colors and giving you this uh, energy of oh, see i have changed see i can make this work out no i don't think so sorry virgo let's see what are their intentions for this situation we have the magician the king of pentacles ace of wands bottom of the deck is knight of cups and intention is pure intention is good here okay intention is good see this person wants to manifest something very very stable between you and them a stable connection a stable relationship a commitment and or marriage or long term partnership they want to start from scratch they want to have a very passionate kind of start with you and they want to go towards this uh, maturity and groundedness and the stability kind of energy slowly but surely but the way they are feeling like uh, the things will is is going to change i don't think that's going to change the way they feel the way they project their energy is like okay i have to change like a little bit of things and everything is going to be fine no they need major 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 changes here their intention is good to have a good thing could to to like apologize to you to confess to you to express to you and to like uh, bring in the love in the connection bring in the love back in the connection as it used to be at some point of time this person is obsessively you know obsessively in their feelings for you it's kind of unhealthy attachment but the intention is good what is happening this person is not that yeah even if it is a toxic person even if it, it is a de devil evil kind of person their intention is good here that uh, to like they are like okay when uh, if we are going to get a chance again this time i'm going to make it work out this time i'm going to be very genuine this time i'm going to be very stable and grounded wow their intention is good here i'm shocked and <laughs> kind of surprised with their intention with the energy of like with the, with the energy that they are carrying 
let's see what action is this person going to uh, take towards you till the 14th of august if any We have the five of cups, the empress and the moon card. Bottom of the deck is nine of pentacles in reverse. See, they are feeling so, so sad. They have lots of regrets regarding the situation. Uh, okay. They are like just sitting on their ass and regretting everything that they did win, within the situation. And they are not very sure that even in, they are not very sure that this situation is ever going to work out and they are ever going to uh, like get the growth and expansion or they are ever going to get the happily ever after or not in the situation they're not sure about it they have lots of regrets so i don't think this person taking any kind of action because they have lots of regrets plus they are not sure and plus they have lots of fears and uh, lots of uh, subconscious fears lo lots of blockages in their mind and soul regarding the situation so i don't see them taking any kind of action and they are like okay they can't wait for the situation to turn into something positive forever so they think that they don't have time or they think that like the time is over even if their intentions are good even if they have uh, like uh, they are they at least they feel like they should change or they will change i think the timing is off here according to them mm -hmm. there's a huge blockage in the situation mm -hmm. this is bad so i think their own overthinking their own negativity is stopping them from taking any kind of action in the situation mm -hmm. Let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation. Well, we oh, we have the justice. Just give me a second. I I spilled all the cards here. Yeah. So we have the justice and the queen of cups. So I keep on saying this like a thousand times a day, like a thousand times in all my videos. The right thing for anybody on earth to do, uh, uh, like uh, no matter what your sign is, to have this self-love, self-care and self-healing kind of journey, keep moving ahead, like uh, keep doing the right thing for yourself and the right energy, right person, right connection will come to you eventually and you don't have to run or chase or wait desperately or do anything like that. When we start waiting for something to happen desperately, it automatically start running away from us, even if it is meant to be for us. It could be anything. Desperation is always going to kill the energy. Okay. Detachment is always going to bring the energy. Stay still. Remain detached. Uh, don't have false expectations or don't have uh, any kind of false hopes from anything or anyone. And just keep moving ahead. The right situation is going to like meet you halfway. Hmm? So yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, Virgo. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.